Welcome to Dinosaur Chronicles. Ancient giants roar back to life. Today, we're diving deep into the world of five incredible dinosaurs that ruled the Earth millions of years ago. From towering herbivores to fierce predators, these creatures have shaped our understanding of prehistory. Let's journey through time. Welcome back to Brain Beats. Let's travel back 68 million years to meet the most iconic predator of all time, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Standing over 12 feet tall at the hips and stretching 40 feet from snout to tail, this fearsome carnivore dominated the late Cretaceous period. The first T-Rex fossil was discovered in Montana in 1902 by famed fossil hunter Barnum Brown, and it's been captivating imaginations ever since. Its name means Tyrant Lizard King. And it's no wonder it was built for power and terror, from its massive skull to its strong, muscular legs. It had a surprisingly large brain for a dinosaur, suggesting keen senses and hunting skills. Even its tiny arms, often the butt of jokes, were incredibly strong and useful for gripping prey. The T-Rex remains a symbol of prehistoric power, reminding us of nature's ability to create both beauty and fear. Stay curious, stay inspired, and keep exploring with Brain Beats. From the ferocious T-Rex, let's switch gears to a spiked tail and plated back. Meet Stegosaurus. Welcome back to Brain Beats. In our prehistoric titans, the Dinosaur Chronicles series, we're spotlighting one of the most recognizable dinosaurs of all time, Stegosaurus. The name Stegosaurus means roofed lizard, referring to its iconic plates, which were once thought to lie flat on its back like shingles. Today, we know those plates stood upright and likely helped regulate body temperature, or maybe just made predators think twice. First discovered in Colorado in 1877, Stegosaurus roamed North America around 155 million years ago during the late Jurassic period. It was unearthed by famed fossil hunter Othniel Charles Marsh during the Bone Wars, a fierce rivalry to discover the most dinosaur fossils. Measuring up to 30 feet long, this gentle herbivore's brain was shockingly small, about the size of a lion. But what it lacked in smarts, it made up for with its spiked tail, known as a thagomizer, which could deliver a lethal blow to predators. Stegosaurus remains a symbol of prehistoric times, captivating imaginations with its unique design and formidable defenses. Stay curious, stay inspired, and keep exploring with Brain Beats. Welcome back to Brain Beats. Today, in our prehistoric titans, the Dinosaur Chronicles, we are charging into the world of the Triceratops, the three-horned dinosaur we all know and love. The name Triceratops means three-horned face, and it lived about 68 to 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. These tank-like herbivores roamed what's now North America, grazing on low-lying plants with their beak-like mouths. First discovered in 1887 in Colorado, Triceratops fossils have fascinated paleontologists ever since. Its name was given by Othniel Charles Marsh during the famous Bone Wars, an era of intense dinosaur discoveries. What makes Triceratops unique? Its massive skull, one of the largest of any land animal, was equipped with three sharp horns and a bony frill. While the frill might have been for defense, scientists think it also played a role in attracting mates. Talk about multifunctional. The Triceratops is a fan favorite, symbolizing strength, resilience, and the incredible diversity of life that once thrived on Earth. Stay curious, stay inspired, and keep exploring with Brain Beats. Welcome back to Brain Beats. In today's Dinosaur Chronicles, we're diving into the world of the Velociraptor one of the most cunning and misunderstood predators of the late Cretaceous. First discovered in 1924 in the Gobi Desert of Mongolia, the Velociraptor's name means Swift Thief, and it perfectly captures its reputation for speed and agility. While Hollywood portrays them as giant, scaly beasts, the real Velociraptor was quite different. It was about the size of a turkey and covered in feathers. Armed with a sharp, sickle-shaped claw on each foot, Velociraptors were formidable hunters. They likely used their claws for slashing or pinning down prey, and their lightweight build helped them move swiftly across their desert habitat. Perhaps most fascinating, Velociraptors were likely pack hunters, working together to take down larger animals. This teamwork and their bird-like features have made them a key link in understanding the evolution of modern birds. Velociraptor's story is one of speed, intelligence, and adaptability, making it a true star of the dinosaur world. Stay curious, stay inspired, and keep exploring with Brain Beats. Welcome back to Brain Beats. In today's Dinosaur Chronicles, we're plunging into the watery world of Spinosaurus, 
the largest carnivorous dinosaur to ever walk or swim the Earth. Discovered in 1912 in Egypt, Spinosaurus means spined lizard, named for the massive sail-like structure on its back. But this creature was more than just a spectacle. It was a true river. Recent discoveries suggest Spinosaurus was semi-aquatic, an excellent swimmer that prowled the rivers of what is now North Africa about 95 million years ago. At nearly 50 feet long, Spinosaurus was longer than T-Rex, with a crocodile-like snout and cone-shaped teeth perfect for snagging fish. Imagine a dino-croc hybrid dominating ancient waterways. But Spinosaurus didn't just hunt underwater. It could also roam land, making it a versatile and fearsome predator. What makes Spinosaurus even more fascinating is how it changed the way we think about dinosaurs. Its discovery showed that not all giant predators ruled dry land. Some thrived where water met land, rewriting the story of dinosaur ecosystems. Stay curious, stay inspired, and keep exploring with Brain Beats. Welcome back to Brain Beats. Today, let's journey back 150 million years to meet one of the tallest dinosaurs to ever walk the Earth, the Brachiosaurus. This Jurassic giant stood as tall as a four-story building, with its head high above the tree line. Unlike most dinosaurs, Brachiosaurus' front legs were longer than its back legs, giving it a unique giraffe-like stance. It used this height to munch on treetop foliage, making it a natural skyscraper and a critical part of its ecosystem. The first fossils of Brachiosaurus were unearthed in Colorado in 1900 by paleontologist Elmer Riggs. Its name means arm lizard, a nod to those long forelimbs. Riggs' discovery revolutionized our understanding of sauropods, showcasing their immense size and adaptability. Though popularized in films like Jurassic Park, modern research suggests Brachiosaurus likely wasn't as common as we once thought, making its fossils all the more special. A symbol of nature's grand scale, Brachiosaurus reminds us just how small we are in the vast story of life on Earth. Stay curious, stay inspired, keep exploring with Brain Beats. And there you have it, the mighty titans of the Dinosaur Chronicles. These prehistoric legends remind us of Earth's incredible history and the mysteries still waiting to be uncovered. Which of these giants amazed you the most? Let us know. And don't forget to subscribe for more roaring adventures right here on Brain Beats.